Well, it's one of the most prevalent blood cancers in Canada, and each year thousands of Canadians are diagnosed with myeloma. Uh, now a new database is helping both patients and researchers. Joining us with the details is Dr. Chris Venner, hematology expert at the Cross Cancer Institute. Good morning, Doc. Thanks for coming in today. Good morning. Thank you. So before we move on to the database and what you've discovered, the research that you're doing, uh, multiple myeloma, what exactly is it? So this is a blood cancer, a cancer of the bone marrow. Uh, specifically, the cells involved are the cells that make antibody in your blood, so everybody makes antibody. It's part of our immune system. But every once in a while, these cells can go rogue. And uh, so the, the specific type of cancer that's associated with that is something called multiple myeloma. It's a disease that has fairly widespread effects on many parts of the body, including the bones and kidneys. So What's the prognosis? Uh, the prognosis is unfortunately universally fatal in every patient, so it's not a disease that we can cure. Uh, it is, however, a disease nowadays that we can manage quite successfully over a fairly long period of time. How long are we talking? We're talking about between five and ten years on average for most patients, but through that time, uh, the, the trajectory, I guess, is, varies from patient to patient. Is, is it very prevalent in our country? Uh, it's one of those diseases that's not common, but also not that uncommon. Uh, there's probably about 2,700 new cases that are diagnosed each year. Uh, the, I guess the unique facet of that, though, is that we are doing better with the disease, so it's not so much how many new patients are being diagnosed every year, rather how many patients continue to live with the disease. All right, let's talk about the launch of this database that includes all these uh, people who are suffering from multiple myeloma. So this is a really interesting uh, initiative that's been put together by uh, our colleagues in what we call the Myeloma Canada Research Network, and this is uh, basically an organization that brings together all interested physicians and researchers across the country, so we have representation for all the provinces, all the ma major healthcare institutions across the country. Uh, and it was an initiative that's been talked about for a long time, but really what we wanted to do is provide a Canadian bent on all of the data that's out there. A lot of the things that we generalize to to try and estimate how well we expect patients to do is based on American data, European data, even clinical trial data that doesn't always reflect the day-to-day -day experience for patients living with this disease in this particular country. What would make it different, like specific to living in Canada versus these other areas? So a big part of that has to do with the way healthcare is delivered. Okay. Uh, the provincialization of healthcare here uh, makes drug access slightly different from province to province. Um, uh, obviously, the size of our country really plays a huge part in this access to care for patients that live up north is very different from patients that live right here in our own backyard in Edmonton. So trying to tease out some of those, uh, those unique features to ensure that we're best by capturing, I guess, the benchmarks for how well we're doing in Canada and also to inform where we're going to go from here. So obviously this is, this is big for uh, someone like you uh, who is a practitioner in, in the field and for those who do the research. This has really got to help along the way. Absolutely, yeah. It's going to give us a much better snapshot to inform how we want to go forward uh, with the, the, the delivery of care here in Canada. Yeah, and as far as the disease goes, like you're saying, uh, you've come a long way with respect to being able to, to keep people alive and, and, and managed for a number of years and hopefully uh, in the time that you, you have to work with these numbers, we'll be able to increase that lifespan and maybe even cure it. Absolutely. I tell that to patients all the time is, you know, don't, don't be too focused on how we're doing right now. Focus on the advances that we will hopefully make over the next five, ten years. It will undoubtedly benefit you. All right. Thanks, Doc. Good luck with your yeah, work. Yeah, thank you very much. More information, you can call 1-888-798-5771 or visit them online at myelomacanada.ca.